Mechalites, we are back. We are here with another toy review. It is the weekend of Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully the family didn't irritate you too much. Hopefully the mac and cheese was slapping. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some toys that are slapping. And we've got the modular Iron Man here with us. And man, does he slap. Let's give a, let's give a nice little spin for the folks. Look at all that. All that modular goodness. Um, one, this figure looks fantastic. Just, you know, it being what it is already. But it really gets bonus points for me because this is kind of just the Iron Man I grew up with, basically. I'm not sure if the comics of modular Iron Man were, like, printing when I was, like, a kid. But I for sure was reading them <laughs> at some point. Uh, super fun stuff, all of his, uh, it was basically just him having an excuse to have really big guns and stuff all the time, because his suit could just make and manufacture weapons and systems on the fly for him to work with. This is also the suit from Marvel vs. Capcom, where I kicked a lot of kids' butts back in the day, <laughs> with just some quarters, as this guy, Hulk, Venom, and uh, sometimes Iceman or Spider-Man, I'd swap them out every now and then. But, uh, man, with all that said, phenomenal looking figure. This is Hasbro using some of their new uh, pinless joints features for the arms and uh, legs, so he's a pretty smooth cut the whole way through. The only way you'd really tell that, you know, he's got joints is if you see, like, some of the discoloring they do on the uh, shoulders here, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, really, really solid to look at. It's, it's very minimal what they give you with this figure, um, package-wise. Uh, you don't even get, like, four repulsors. You only get two, which is weird. But, uh, he's, he's very solid with that all said. You can get him in some real great poses. I'm hoping no one gets knocked over on that display back there. I keep hearing stuff. Give him a little... We'll punch out thing there real quick. Oh, get him in the focus. Just real, real smooth stuff. And, you know, it's Iron Man, so he's got to be doing some flight stuff. Look at that. Real good. So good, I bought two of these guys. <laughs> I plan on, um, well, the first one I got, I, uh, I would have been satisfied with one. But I got him, and then I realized he had a little, uh, paint scuff like on the thigh couldn't really unsee and kind of wanted a full set of repulsor effects too so I just got a second one and I was like uh, use that as my main Iron Man and I'll use the other one and I'll paint him up as a war machine and put all the modular shit on that that'll be fun but uh yeah let's dig into the articulation for him real quick and crack that out so he's got his head for me is a little stiff but he does have a joint uh, in the neck, and it goes, like, pretty far back. Let's see if I can... <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh, man. Ta-da! <laughs> he can look pretty far up with that, or, you know, with his little flight poses looking straight at you coming in. He can look down pretty good, too. Ugh. Boom, bop. For the arms, you've got a uh, this uh his little shoulder pads. They're connected to his arms, but they're like a little outer shell layer of plastic. So when you like tuck his arms, and you want to make sure you don't like squish him and mess him up when you do it. So you gotta make sure you tuck him in pretty good there. But he can lift the arms up that much. Pretty good height for Iron Man. It's got the double jointed elbows, so you can uh, get a nice little flex pose there with them, and little hinges for the wrist to, you know, swivel around and do their thing. We got a nice ratcheting waist, ooh, love me some of that, and some, okay, ab crunch. I could go off a little lower, but you know, it's Iron Man, it's, it is what it is. Then we've got uh, the thigh cuts. I thought I was really like the part with a uh, little sh what do you call it? This isn't the shin, the the side thigh pad. 
that uh, is like just connected to the lower part that swivels around with it. Really like that. Fun to get some poses with it and kind of angle it out. Then we've got the double jointed legs. Ooh. Can't really kick his butt all the way, but you know, it can get pretty close. And we've got the fun uh, boot swivel here. I like the way the lines are for it because it's got the asymmetrical uh, look to it and it swivels that way too, which is pretty fun. I like that. Uh, and then just, you know, your standard boot swivel, foot swivel, tilt up, all that good stuff. Boom, bop. All right. Get your boy back to being stood up. And now we can get into some of the accessories for him. So for accessories, this Iron Man really doesn't have too much. Uh, he only comes with, get them out here. Oh, we're already dropping stuff. A uh, set of open repulsor hands here. Push them further back. There you go, now you can see them better. And two of these kind of dark blue repulsor effects for him to have. With that said, of me saying these are lackluster, he's still bringing the heat because uh, this Iron Man does something that, to my knowledge, I have never seen on a comic Iron Man before. Uh, you know what? Let me let me go grab something for reference. Okay, so I got some Iron Mans here for reference. But let me finish getting these hands on here. And yeah, so Iron Man can do this. And this is something you've never really seen his hands be able to do because all this time when we've gotten Iron Man's, his hands have been locked in a position of just being outwards so like his repulsor hands can only be like you know aiming like that he can't you know have him resting he can't like I don't know side shoot someone or something but yeah even um even his MCU one like this is the new infinity saga one it's it's got it in a locked position it can't it can't be moved any other way it's just only only one way. So it's really cool to get these and have them be able to pull off some different effects with it. Because now, I don't know, you could have him be a bit more flexible and different with his effects if you wanted to. Or they could affect, you know, the flying positions that he's in now and have him, man, it's just you just get a lot more creativity that you can use with these hands because it's just so many more options now. Let's see. Whoop. Yeah. Just the fact that you can just hinge these, move them around, it just ups the play factor so much with these. Man, you can recreate a lot more comic covers than you could before, that's for sure. Uh-oh, we had a spill. Alright, it is time for comparisons. Normally I would start this off with uh, some time to measure, but uh, the cats have done something with my measuring tape and I cannot seem to locate it, so... It will just show up again in videos when I when I find it again, but until now, uh, let's just enjoy and just pretend he's about six inches or so. <laughs> uh, first off, let's get him next to the homeboy. War Machine. Looking pretty spiffy, boys. Uh, Want to do some other stuff? We've got Big Boy Thanos here. Oh, dear. Do we need to back the boys up even more? Oh my god, I don't know if the boys can handle backing up more. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to... 
We're gonna have to back the boys up. All right. Okay, that's better. Now we're all in focus. Pretty damn much. All right. Cool. So yeah, here's a couple of deluxes with this deluxe boy himself. Good stuff. Always gotta have War Machine next to Iron Man. Dynamic duo. Uh, I guess next up. Oh my god. I really. I really like this Infinity Saga Iron Man, but. His little arm pieces are quite annoying to have to. Oh my god, I just dropped another one. To put on and keep on and have them shut up and. Oh dear. Okay. Whew. All that, and they didn't even give me a box of donuts. I got a really crappy one of this, so that's why I won't be doing a review of him. He's got this real loose leg. It's. I forgot how bad it is trying to stand this man. <laughs> I popped him out for comparing. Alright, so here's that one. And here's what used to be my favorite Iron Man until this one came out. The AI Tony Stark one. Pretty good. Uh, looks like the Tonys are pretty much all the same size except for Robert Downey Jr. Who's just a little bit taller than the rest of the batch. Good stuff. Let's see. Oh. Gotta grab a guy from the background. Good old Ultron from the very same wave. Uh, expect a review of this guy out pretty soon, too. Boom bop. He knew it was his time to be done. Uh, here we've got the Diamond Select Titanium Man. He barely makes it to his nipples. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got some of the new Hasbro... Fortnite six inch line here. Oh, look at this guy just conveniently waiting for his spot to shine. Let's just, you know, let's get the last guy up in there too, why don't we? Oh. All right. Yeah, fun comparisons. Who knows? Uh, you can put this guy anywhere. It's Iron Man. He's in space, uh, portals, other realms. Now he has to fight in Fortnite Battle Royale and he has an assault rifle in his hands. Whatever you want. It's it's here. He has the hands to grip an assault rifle now if you want. Because, you know, he can actually... Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Support the barrel and whatnot. Tony's ready for war. Let's... Hold on. I have one right here. And it's even a Fortnite gun. Let's... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's that's gangster as hell. <laughs> Boom bop. All right. Mechalites, thank you so much for tuning in to another toy review over here. I know the videos and content has been sparse lately. Oh. You've got a cat on top of me right now. My apologies. She likes a shoulder ride. Um, <laughs> but, uh, where, where, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the fans, the Mechalites, thank you all for tuning in, being patient, uh, constantly surprised at how many people are watching these videos, uh, the, my first one, The Miles, it's almost at 2,000 views, and I wasn't even expecting it to, like, get over 500, so, uh, big thanks to all that, <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm taking some time off. I've been put some time aside to really crack out some of these reviews for you guys. So expect a lot more content pumping out. I've got some stuff on the backlog. I've been waiting to review, and uh, now's the time to get it out there. So stay tuned. And until next time, y'all have a good one.